Welcome back. It's time for another edition of Cruising with Charity. This week I got the chance to ride along with James Clemens head coach Wade Waldrop. I gotta say it was a ton of fun. Take a look. It's, it's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life as far as coming in to, to start this thing and trying to get the mindset where it needed to be to be successful. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cruising with Charity. Charity Chambers here alongside James Clemens High Head Football Coach Wade Waldrop. Thanks for joining me. Oh yeah, fun. Looking forward to it. Oh yeah. Can I tell that you kind of put me out there, put me on the spot? Yeah, I just saw, <laughs> saw other people doing it and you know, I wanted to want to get it on the, the charity train. <laughs> yes, I came out to practice last week. You kind of called me out a little bit, um, but I have been wanting to do a ride along with you. I know you're a busy man, so thanks for taking out yeah, time. Fun. Oh yeah, first things first, you know, we got to talk about the Bob Jones game yep. last week. Last year was the first time that y'all had ever beaten them. You come back, do it the second year in a row. What did you tell the team after the game? Um, proud of them. Um, you know, kids played really hard, I, I thought, for the third straight week. You know, they battled and competed really, really tough. And, um, overcame some adversity Friday night. I thought they got really refocused at halftime and did a great job of finishing the game. So just proud of them. But, you know, it's a it's a region win. That's what's important, and um, you know we've got another one this week. So I mean, you really don't get a lot of time to to think about it and right. enjoy it. Speaking of going up against Huntsville this week, they're going into the game three and zero. Seem to have a lot going for them. What have you seen from them so yeah, far? Yeah, I mean they're doing a good job running the football. They're they're controlling the line of scrimmage in each of the three games that they play. Defensively, they look very similar to what they did a year ago from a scheme standpoint. Um, you know, we've got a couple of really good players on the defensive line, so they, they've got pieces to the puzzle. Um, got a kicker that, you know, a lot like ours, is going to kick in the end zone every time and make you go 80 yards, which at our level, if you have to go 80 yards, it's harder to score. So what does that mean to you as a coach when kids do come back and they tell you stuff, how you've impacted them beyond the football field? No, it, it's great, and, and that's, that's the ultimate high in the profession. Uh, truth, at least for me, it is. Um, you know, I'd be lying to say the winning, you know, the winning's a high. You don't really get to focus on the winning during the season. Um, I, and, you know, the losses hurt a lot more than the wins feel good. Um, but the relationships and to see the growth of a, of a kid, um, watch them make mistakes, but then learn from those mistakes and become better, you know, better people and better students. That's, um, man, that's great. That's the best part of it. Well, thank you so much for joining me on another edition of Cruising with Charity. Yeah, this was awesome. Thank you. Yeah, Appreciate thanks. it. Now, guys, there's so much you didn't get to see because I didn't have time for it. We talked about how him and his wife Kimberly met. They have four kids, his first head coaching job at Fayetteville, his college football playing day. So we talked a lot about yeah. just a lot of that. A lot about so, a lot. Yeah, so <laughs> if you guys want to check it out, visit our website at rocketcitynow.com slash Fords Connor. I have so much fun doing these things. Uh, they look so much fun, honestly. <laughs> yes. I get to go drive around, yeah, chat a little you know, bit. It's, it's so casual. I, yeah. I love it. I think it looks fun. All right, we'll be right back.